Thanks for joining us. I'm Stormy O'Donnell. And today's mobile midday news is brought to you by TelecomCareers.com. And I'm Sean Kinney. We're following several big stories today at RCR Wireless News. First up, after an agreement with the FCC, T-Mobile has agreed to be more upfront with customers who go over their data limit. Now, as part of the agreement, T-Mobile will begin providing customers with links so they can get the actual network speed. Up until now, customers were given information on the overall network speed, not the actual speed they're receiving. Now, T-Mobile is the only carrier to come under fire from the federal government this year. AT&T and Verizon have also been called out. Now, Stormy, for more on that story, we're going to throw it over to the RCR Wireless News Editor-in-Chief, Dan Meyer. Dan, you've been following this story closely. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, very interesting decision between the FCC and, and T-Mobile on this deal here. I mean, obviously, it's a big win for the FCC in the fact that uh, I guess it shows uh, that consumers can get a little more information from uh, mobile operators in terms of what's actually happening uh, with their network connections and network speeds. But again, in the shadow of kind of net neutrality debate that's going on right now, uh, it's, it's almost a win for, for mobile operators, too, because uh, it's almost like the FCC is OK right now, at least with, with operators uh, doing this uh, data throttling. Uh, for, for customers uh, as they go up their data bucket. So that's been a bit of a point of contention for a lot of, a lot of companies, uh, a lot of consumer interest groups as well. So an interesting decision. Uh, again, it's probably a big, I guess, a good win for, for T-Mobile's customers because, again, they do get some more insight into what's happening with the network speeds, which uh, once they do hit their, their, their data limits, are throttled back quite a bit from uh, typical LTE speeds or even 3G speeds down to typical 2G speeds, which is between 64 and 128 kilobits per second. So uh, now consumers will have an idea of what's actually happening on their network. Uh, for the FCC, again, it, it is a kind of a good decision for them. Uh, it does kind of show that they're being a little more uh, consumer friendly and allowing consumers to get a little more information on what's happening there. But, uh, but again, it does seem to be perhaps acknowledging that operators do need to do some uh, network management as well. So it'll be an interesting topic to, to follow going forward. But, uh, but again, an interesting decision today for, from both companies. Back to you guys. Folks, that's our editor-in-chief, Dan Meyer. He's joining us from his office in Denver, Colorado. Now, another big story Dan's been following is total potential winning bids for the Federal Communication Commission's Auction 97. Last night, the bids topped $36 billion. Round 28 of the auction for broadband spectrum closed on Monday. J-Block licenses covering the markets around New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago all got new bids with the total value closing in on the $5 billion mark. All in all, there's 1,614 licenses up for grab in the Spectrum auction. For more on that story, you can check us out at rcrwirelessnews.com. Now, a new customer satisfaction survey reveals the highest rated postpaid service providers. Canada-based Ting topped the survey with a score of 91. Ting runs on the Sprint network, and according to Consumer Reports, it has a great value and overall data service experience. Yeah, Consumer Cellular came in a close second with a score of 90. That company offers services across AT&T's network and receives high marks for value, data service, and support channels. You can find the highest ranked prepaid service providers on our website, rcrwireless.com. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. And a thank you to our sponsor, telecomcareers.com. And like I said, be sure to follow us at rcrwireless.com for the latest telco and ICT news. And for multimedia content, you can visit us on our YouTube channel. Thanks again.